Hi guys, hi guys. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Akusia Mbenhene. If you're seeing me for the very first time, you're welcome. If you're a tennis subscriber, hey boo, hey boo, what do you do? Did my lights really do that? Wow. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a beginner friendly tutorial for concealer and contouring. So basically everything that a beginner needs to know about concealer, contouring, shade matching, um, blending literally everything that a beginner needs to know we're going to be doing it in this video so if you're interested then please keep on watching and without further ado my loves let's get right into the video okay so this is a part of my back to basics playlist so i have um, a playlist that i do basically only tutorials showing you guys um how to blend you know just how to's on makeup so if you want any of that that playlist will be linked in the description box down below so be sure to check it out um, i have all of my tutorials there so a huge part of um, a huge part of getting a flawless makeup or a huge part of achieving a flawless look at another day is skin prep how you need to do your skincare or how you do your skincare plays a major role in how your makeup turns out at the end of the day so i do have a skincare video which i'll also link down below you can check that out um, but my skincare is done skin is like sunscreen everything has been put on so my skin is ready for makeup so I'm gonna go like right into everything that I have to do right now. The first thing that I'll do is primer. The primer that I'm using for today's look or for this tutorial is the YSL New Blotting Lotion. Um, this mainly targets pores and that's what I have. That's what I deal with mostly when I do my makeup. When you're doing your makeup or when you're buying makeup products you need to consider your skin type it's very important to do that you need to consider what problems your skin has when you do your makeup so whenever you do your makeup what do you notice at the end of the day is it too much like oils is it large pores like what is it that you see at the end of the day that's what you should be looking at so this is going to help me with my pores because that's what i'm dealing with right now and that's kind of what my makeup problem is <laughs> so i'm gonna put this in the areas where i only need it so in the areas where i only have large pores another thing with primer is that's what you want to do you want to apply your primer in areas where it's only needed because any other parts of your face that you put it it's really not gonna make any difference and one way that i like to apply my primer i just put it on like a moisturizer with my fingertips and then I go ahead and just tap it in so that my skin absorbs the product really well I find that it really works for um, my makeup application so I love this primer because it doesn't totally take away the shine that I have that's another thing that I like about my like I, I don't want to I don't like doing like total full matte makeup I like to make sure that I still have my natural glow going on so I don't cover up totally. I don't like a primer that would dry me up. Um, but whatever works for your skin type, please use that. This is just what I like. This is how I like my primer to work for me. So the next thing that I'm going to go in with is my foundation. Um, today's foundation is the same old, same old baby girl that you guys know. This is um, Maybelline Superstay. I love this stuff. One thing that I'll say about foundation is always take a foundation that you know that you trust. A foundation that you know that will give you the best shade match ever. So um, a way that I match my foundation is I make sure that I'm matching it to my chest area. So I make sure that when I finish my look at the end of the day, it matches my chest. My neck is essentially darker than my face and then my chest so i don't match my foundation to my neck so if you have the same problem as me then um i'd say that match your foundation a lot more to your skin shade rather than to your neck if you have i just have um deeper pigments around my neck which i'm working on but if you have an even skin like over like overall even skin then you can definitely match your foundation to your neck and just make sure that at the end of the day it suits the entire like tone that you have going on naturally you know i like to make sure that at the end of the day it still looks like me and even though i have makeup on it doesn't look like a whole different kind of person i don't like that <laughs> 
so this gives me that vibe so i'm this foundation is my perfect shade match so if you have like my skin or if you're if you we share the same kind of foundation shade you can use this you can use my shade for yourself another thing with foundation is you really don't need much i'm gonna take one pump and you guys will see what one pump does for like my face because what really does the work is the concealer and the contour and this is um Every, it makes concealer, foundation, contour, they like all come together to make up the base. But concealer and contour is really what does the covering. So you guys will see what I'm trying to say. I'm taking a brush. This brush right here um, is a flat top kabuki brush. This is from the Sonia Kashuk brand and perfect for my skin type as well. It gives me the perfect coverage, it gives you a nice smooth coverage. And another thing that you can do is go over it with your found, um, beauty blender when you're done. People like to do that as well because it takes away the excess shine. And But I'll show you guys what it looks like with the brush. And then after I'll show you what it looks like when you go over it with your beauty blender. So for the foundation, I'm going to start covering around my lip. What you want to do is you want to start covering around the area where you need the most coverage. So I find that on the lower parts of my face, I definitely need a lot more coverage. And also because you go under your eye, for the most part, you go under your eye with concealer and all, all of that. So you don't need so much foundation around that area anyway, because the concealer is going to do the covering around that area. So using stippling motion, I'm just going to keep going in the areas where i need the most coverage and what i do is i try as much as possible to avoid my under eye area because like i said the concealer is what is going to do most of the covering around that area so i try as much as possible to avoid any part of my face that the concealer will do covering there i don't want to go over there with my foundation because that's the area where the concealer needs to go and that's the only way you can have like a long lasting concealed area you know don't go over that area with foundation or at least don't go over that area with too much foundation i'd say if you still want to use some foundation go over the area with very very small amount of foundation and then let the concealer do the rest of the job because that's really what you need and another thing your nose area you don't want to go like you don't want to put actual foundation on your nose just take what's left of your brush or what's left of the foundation on your brush and then go over your nose with that but don't put like actual foundation because it, will, it won't last trust me if you're oily that's what i'm trying to say if you have my skin type if you have oily to combination skin don't put foundation over your nose try as much as possible to avoid doing that and then just use what's left of your foundation on the brush to go over your nose and that's all you need so the next step will be to conceal and for concealer i'm going to be using the juvia's place this is the juvia's place cream concealer stick this is in the shade namibia i love this stuff because of the creamy texture that it has and it gives you a perfect undertone i mean it gives you a perfect coverage and for concealing or concealing as well is highlighting so the whole notion behind concealing is throwing light to the part of your face which naturally has light so um you're seeing me on camera and you do see that my under eye and my forehead has a lot more light than this part of my face and then the extreme like the perimeters of my face basically the perimeters of my face has less light than the center of my face so that's the whole uh, idea of concealing and contouring you want to throw more light to where your face already has light or to where naturally like light hits you and then you want to shade the place which naturally has shade so that's just what you want to do just keep that idea in your mind when you're doing your concealer and your contour so i'm gonna go ahead and use a brush and then go in areas where i'd usually conceal so my forehead one thing uh, one thing that i always say with makeup is is really not about how much product you use is about how well you blend how well can you blend what is your blending game like that's what you want to be thinking about because i can use so much product and i'd still not have like i still blend and make it look nice at the end of the day so i really don't think that is how much product you use is really how well you blend what are your tools what's your blending skill 
so because i have i naturally have like see chubby cheeks i don't want to cover my entire chubby cheek area because i don't want to throw light to that whole area when i contour i'll try to hide it a little bit because i don't want that chubby that whole chubby cheek to come through my makeup so makeup is just like playing around with it's like artwork it's like doing art basically so i personally like to go for the lifted eye look because naturally that's i kind of have the cut eye look going on so i like to just accentuate that to suit my natural face so um again look at your face shape what your face looks like and then do something that suits your face it doesn't always have to be like what's in trend or like what everybody's doing you know makeup really needs to suit your face so for blending concealer i love to use my beauty blender brushes work also really well brushes work perfectly i use brushes on days when i feel like i want to but on a regular i'll just use my my beauty blender and it needs to be dumb it needs to be nice and like soft because that's the only way you're going to get the perfect blend so make sure that your beauty blender is always dumb so i start from my forehead i like to start from my forehead depending on what concealer i am using um i would either start from my under eye or start from my forehead so if i'm using a total matte concealer that dries down quickly like the elf 16 hour camo concealer then i would go ahead and blend my under eye area first because i find that um because it dries down quick so you just have to blend quick but this um this gives me more time more room and because this is a tutorial i'd love for you guys to like get the best you know so if i pick my best i'll pick this one so when I blend, I blend with the tip of the beauty blender. I just go ahead and then tap tap that. And you want to press the beauty blender while you blend. That way you press the product more into your skin. And then it gives you a much, um, it gives you a more skin like finish as compared to just, you know, tapping. Tapping, I'm, I, I think it takes a lot, a lot more time, but pressing the beauty blender and just trying to press that into your skin. And because it's dumb, it gives, it makes it i don't know how it does it but because it's dumb it makes blending a lot more easier and then it gives you a better skin like finish as compared to not making it dumb and not pressing it down pressing it down and then you go i, I like to go in circular motions as well just so that i have even ap application and then i'm going to take a part of the beauty blender that has literally no product and then i go around it just so that i don't have any harsh lines And for my under eye, I try to stay directly under my eye. Like I said, I don't, <laughs> I don't like to throw light to my double, like my chin that I like, my my chubby cheeks that I have here. So I like to try as much, I, I stay, I try as much as possible to stay directly under my eye. And when I get to this area right here, I take it into my brow bone area so i don't drag it out i know that a lot of people do that but i don't do that anymore i used to do that but i don't do it anymore i don't drag it out i take it around my brow bone area and then it just further highlights that area that i has there and it makes perfect sense since i started doing that it's just been the perfect way to highlight my face <laughs> so it's really all about taking your time and blending and blending and making sure that you have the coverage that you want sometimes i'll go over this with another like lighter concealer just to give me some extra brightness but today i'm not going for that look you guys know that i usually go for really bright under eye and for your nose area also you want to press the beauty blender like so and then just go in that area makeup also kind of takes patience i don't think anybody really says that but makeup takes patience if you want your look to turn out looking good at the end of the day you really need to be patient with what you're doing 
So this is just a concealer application or this is just a concealer. And I absolutely love how it looks. I just, I'm in love, you know, I'm in love. And it's really all about blending and also it's sometimes it's about what product you're using you know what brand of product you're using some brands just don't give you a good blend so sometimes it's not you okay <laughs> i give you i give you the benefits of the doubt sometimes it's not you sometimes some brands are just they just they just don't cut it um next thing that i'm gonna do is my contour for contour i'm also gonna use juvia's place juvia's place actually has nice coverage and like um they have a they, they have a thing that they call it they have nice products for skin you know like foundation concealer they have nice stuff like that this stuff though is really pigmented and it's so dark it's actually very dark so i'm very careful when i'm using this so i'm gonna go in the areas where i have to contour which is basically the perimeters of your face like i said before the areas where you need to throw shade because they already have shade <laughs> the areas that doesn't have so much light you guys can see i'll just do one dot here one dot here and one here and then i'll do the same because like I said, this stuff is very pigmented. And then because I happen to have double chin, I'm sure you guys already know, I will also do another dot here to hide my double chin. But if you have like a nice slick face, you probably don't need so much like contour. You can just focus on like, you can just do a three and you're good to go. But also for contour, you can use your beauty blender for days when i'm lazy i'll use my beauty blender but on a regular day for contour i'd always use my brush always always use my brush i love to use my brush for my contour i find that it gives me a much more like nicer blend um yeah so but you can use either either of these two but i love to use a brush and i'm going to show you how to use a brush so i start on my forehead area and with contour you want to blend more into your hairline than into your skin and i like to um use very very soft stippling motions to do this process because i find that softer taps gives you nicer coverage and i'm not even going to lie and like i said i like to hide my five head so you see that i'm trying to cover as much um as much volume or as much like area here as much as i can because i'm trying to cover my forehead i'm trying to cover um, the big forehead that i have but if you don't have a big forehead then you want to do more outer than like trying to cover up i'm probably not saying it right but i'm sure you get what i'm saying so just with soft stippling stippling motions i'm going around the areas where i want to throw my shade or where i already have my natural shade um, but whenever you feel like you have uh, too much product going on you can definitely go in with your beauty blender and just press that down see what i have going on and then i'm gonna go in with the beauty blender that i used for the concealer and then i'm gonna go over my concealed areas and then just now blend that into the contour as well and i'm also going to use the beauty blender to just press in the contour product and this also helps to just sort of tone it down you know just so that if i mean if the color that you have going on you're okay with it that's fine you don't have to do the extra work but i like to just press mine down just so that it's nice like it's nice and more skin like as compared to just leaving the cream like finish on its own tell me that you don't see the work tell me that this is not giving you 
the most smoothest blend you've ever seen <laughs> i mean like this is just really perfect and like i said the blending does like 80 percent of the job and then the kind of product you're using also does 20 percent of the job and then maybe your skin wait so blending does 70 product does 20 and then your skin does 10. so do skincare now i'm gonna go ahead and set the highlighted areas i usually don't set my contoured areas but we'll see about that <laughs> so to set my highlighted areas i'm gonna use the maybelline fit me um loose setting powder absolutely love this stuff matter of fact when it comes to setting um, your highlighted areas, you want to use a loose setting powder. I find that it's the best to use to set these areas. And then I find that it's the best to get a long lasting wear out of your makeup. So I'm going to use that. And I'm also going to use a beauty blender to set. And I don't bake when it comes to setting my highlighted areas. I just go ahead and press the product in. And that works perfectly for me. If baking works for you, please do it. But I don't do it. So after setting my face, this is what it looks like even before I go in with like my powder and everything. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fill in my brows, do my eye area. Then I'll come back and then we'll do the rest of the face. <laughs> so I didn't do too much with my eye area because I wanted, I wanted today to focus on like base and then i wanted to give you guys like proper base you know so the next thing that i'm gonna do is my blush technically we're done with the concealer and the contour part but these like last few steps will just help finish the face up and it's all part of what makes like the base you know so i'm gonna go in with a blush i am an orange blush kind of girl i find that that's the best blush color for my skin type um so I just like to use that in the perimeters of my face which is basically the areas where i applied my contour product so i start from my cheeks and then i go over my contoured areas this step also helps to warm up the contour a little more because you know that the contour color is just like plain dark dark shade it has literally no color to it so the the blush adds a lot more color to it it gives it gives it more depth and then it also gives it like an, an, an it also makes it more warm i don't know why i'm fumbling with my words today but so see what it looks like on this side and see what it looks like on this side this side looks nice and warm it has some sort of color to it and then this side just looks bland it looks just like plain no color so you do see a difference. I definitely see a difference on the camera. Now you see what I'm talking about. And then I'm going to go over my nose also. Just at the tip of my nose. And then the next thing that I'm going to go in with is some highlighter. So also with highlighter, you want to be as light handed as possible gone are the days okay when people used to put on like blinding highlighters i used to do it too um, but right now what you want to do is be very light-handed so the brush that i'm using is from evita joseph this is their classic highlight brush i'm gonna just tap some of that tap off the excess and then i tap 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 in the areas where i want to highlight so literally my cheekbone and then I take it all the way to my brow bone. 
so that's the like that's the motion in which I do it I just sort of brush it off and then blend as I go and then I like to go over the tip of my nose as well Actually, with what's left on on the brush I just sort of fan that there and then it gives me nice highlights over there too and then my cupid symbol like so and then also for some reason I just like to highlight directly on top of my brow so you know people like to highlight the center part I don't like to do that I just like to highlight like the side and side like that and it gives me a nice like see we like a nice side view okay when you give us nice side view giving giving and then the last thing that i'm gonna go in with is my powder this is the maybelline super stay full coverage this is actually their powder foundation this stuff is amazing balls okay and then i'm gonna take a brush more like a this is yeah this is a foundation brush it's not a powder brush my powder brush is actually dirty and i don't want to use that one so i'll take this one and then because this is a foundation powder foundation anyway so this is going to work perfectly and then now with my powder i'm just going to press that in and i just like to do circular motions while tapping the product in and i don't like to like go under my under like i don't like to go directly under my eye because that is going to cover up my concealer and i don't want to cover it up so i just like to like work around it but definitely i like to go over my highlighter because i like for that area to be smooth and then the highlighter sort of shows up beneath the makeup so now the last thing <laughs> i've said the last thing a couple of times but definitely the last thing is i'm gonna set it with my setting spray this is the elf matte magic setting spray okay guys so this is the final look this is what we have going on tell me that you don't like this tell me this is not giving you black girl magic okay absolutely love how everything turned out i'm so sorry that i keep doing that that's the problem that i have with putting on lip gloss i will keep doing that i will lick my lip the entire time but um this is what it looks like i want you guys to comment down below right now if this was tutorial enough for you because a lot of you guys say that my tutorials are kind of fast paced so you're not able to grasp anything when i teach but i wanted to make sure that this was beginner friendly enough for you guys so comment down below if you liked it and if you want me to do more of these tutorials you know beginner friendly tutorials um but this is what the look turned out to be so give me a huge thumbs up if you like the video um follow me on all my social media platforms across all social media platforms i do a lot of makeup videos on instagram so i'd love it if you follow me on instagram as well um obviously social media but if you want more makeup instagram definitely um yes i'm gonna go away now thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next one <laughs>